I have a wedding card to show you. Oh, I think this one's absolutely perfect. It doesn't even need a sentiment. It just says it all. Let me show you what we'll be using today. The dies are from our special occasion collection, The Happy Couple. From the same collection, we'll be using the Arbor Gate. I'm going to make a border from the Australian border quarter and tag. And I'm going to be making a frame out of the double pierce noble circles. Okay, let's get started. Now I've gone ahead and done a little bit of cutting ahead of time. And I've done two of the Australian borders to put along the edge here. Now you'll notice they're longer than the edge of the card. Don't worry about cutting them and trimming them to whatever size you want. It's nice to have a border that is longer than you need and you can cut it down to whatever size. So I'm just going to use my scissors to trim this. Gone ahead and put it on with a little Cosmic Shimmer glue. And when I get it trimmed, I'll give you a quick measurement. So I've cut a piece of coconut white card that is seven inches by six and a half for this piece. Okay, so that's going to form the background to our card. I've already cut some of the noble circles into a frame. Now I do like to do the double layered frames. And one of the things that I think is a nice um, uh, tip is if you want to mat them and layer them, use a smaller one for the inside of the bottom one than you do on the top one. That way if you're off a little bit putting it over the top, you're not going to see it. But it's still got enough room that it can be um, seated on the edge there. So I've added some mounting foam to the back. So let me just pop these pieces off. And I do like to have it nice and mounted with the foam so it stays all the way around the same level. You don't have any saggy areas. Few more here and I think I missed a couple. There we go. Okay. So pop this onto this one and try and center that as best I can. So I'm looking around the outside of the edge to make sure it seems fairly centered there. There we go. Okay, so now I have a beautiful multi-layered frame. So what I wanted to do was add a um, design to the background. So I've gone ahead and cut the arbor gate. It's got a lot of uh, pieces to it, so I went ahead and cut it out. Now this is one of the ones I would recommend using a piece of wax paper because there's a lot of fine pieces, and if you pull very hard, you can, you can pull them out of shape. So if you use some wax paper, it just falls right out for you. Um, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous to use as a gate or as a background. So I'm going to seat my frame over the top of that. Let me just peel off the other mounting foam that I have here. There again, lots and lots of little pieces. Keeps it nice and flat on your card. And a few more. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to center that so it shows through my frame and I'll nip away the little bit of edge that uh, shows from the back of it. Pick it up and you can just see there's a tiny bit there that shows, so we'll nip that. You won't even notice it. There we go. We can seat that right in the center of our um, borders here. Get it nice and centered. That looks pretty good, and there should be enough mounting foam left there to hold that into place. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop that onto my background, which I've gone ahead and pierced with a piercing ruler uh, on my white card, my coconut white card. I've used a uh, vintage silver mat and a black mat to kind of tie in the colors I'll be using in my card. Pop that right into the center there. So now the background's all sorted. What I want to show you is some of the fun things you can do with the happy couple here. So I've gone ahead and I've cut one already in white and one in black. And what I want to do is I want to line this part of the uh, her dress so it's white also. So one of the ways that you can do this is to take your die and emboss it. But rather than embossing it with a traditional embossing um, sandwich, which really makes it deep and sometimes can cut into the card, it, I find it's easier to use kind of a, a, a made up little sandwich to do this and just get enough that you can see that pattern. So I'm going to tape it into place pop it onto my uh, platform, and I've got several pieces of just white copy paper folded in half. There are five of them folded in half, and I think that's about right. So it's thinner than a mat would be, so you won't have quite as deep of an emboss, but it'll be enough to see your bride and groom there through it. And if it's not for some reason, then you can obviously just pop it back through with another piece. 
but you can see you've got a nice perfect outline you can cut around, which is what I'll do now. I'm just going to take my scissors and trim the outside around her, et, her uh, dress. And I want to go just inside that line a little bit. There we go. Right around her veil, and I'm going to trim that off. Just keep to the inside of the line and it won't show. I'm not going to fuss about with too much about the head, the body, and with him. So I'll just pop that around and go back around the bottom of her dress. There we go. And let's check it. There may be a few areas that we want to nip away as well. Let's just double check. The area right between the two uh, heads, I'm going to go ahead and take that out. I've forgotten about that. And like I said, it's going to be back, so you're not going to see it, so pop that in place. Double check that. And that is looking very nice. Okay, so I'm going to add some glue to the back. And I'll tell you what, let's use our fine liner for this. And it'll just pop a little along here and through the strategic areas where we want it to catch. That should be enough. Okay, line that. Get it straight along the bottom edge there. And if you're off a little, you can absolutely trim it with your scissors once it's in place. There we go. Now, I thought I would do his uh, attire in formal and do it in black, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing and trim him off the top of this one. Just use the edge here through that. I'm going to nip through that. There. Just cut her away completely. And we will just take the top of his suit. And that should be just about perfect. That looks good, so we'll put some glue on the back of that. And I think that'll make a really nice addition and dress that bride and groom up so pretty. And you could even do this in the colors of the wedding if you prefer. So many ways to personalize it. Pop that right into place like that. Let me get it lined up. And if you have to do any little cleanup, I've got a tiny bit around his shoulder that's just a tiny off, so I'm gonna just trim that a little bit. Or you could even bring in a little black marker for that and a piece of mounting foam on the back. Bring back our card, and we will seat them right into the center of our background. There we go. I would add a few extra pearls to accessorize and accent the edges around maybe the uh, the, guard, the arbor gate, and you have got a stunning wedding card for, for any of your friends. I'm sure they would love it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and join us again on our YouTube channel. Bye.